Hey guys, so this is another one of the pieces that we voted and nobody said to keep or anything. And uh, this was also a strainer pour. So we are going to try something interesting with this. Um, I'm going to put down a coat of white and then I had the syringes that we were using the other day. I'm using the same three colors, um, blue, yellow, and red. But instead of the blue being Art Mines because it was out, I'm using the Waverly Chalk Blue in Bermuda. Um, I'm using the same Waverly Chalk Yellow, which is Maze, and the Waverly Chalk um, Crimson, which is the red. Um, so what I was doing was when I was cleaning out these, I pulled some air and then I just splatted it against my thing and it left like a splatter pattern. And I know Bridget from Bridget's Creations was trying to get that splatter effect. Um, so I want to try this on a canvas and see if it works. I know it works if I just shoot it out of the thing, but I don't know if it'll work if I have like a background color that's still wet or what. So we're going to try this. So I'm using a white, which is Artist Love Flow Acrylics. Um, all four of these colors are mixed with Floetrol only. So I'm just going to put down a white base. Nothing crazy, just a good little base. I'm actually going to use one of my tools. If I can reach it, they're hiding from me. I kind of reorganized my art room a little bit. Okay. I actually liked the piece underneath here, but it felt like it was missing something. I couldn't think of what to add to it or do with it. And then nobody seemed to like it. So I just said, well, we're just going to pour over it because, you know, I have a whole stack of stuff that I thought I needed to pour over. And I asked everybody's opinion first because I wanted to make sure. Okay, let me move this around. I'm almost there because I can always paint the edges white. Anything that's not covered over the sides, I can paint that white. I just don't want like too much sitting on top since I am doing this splatter kind of thing. But that should be good for right now. So we're going to set this to the side. And then so. When I did it, there was very little paint in here. So I'm going to try to do the same thing. I'm going to try to just put this syringe in my cup of paint and pull very little. See, there's like hardly anything in there. And then just, and see, I think there was too much paint in there that time. Now let's try. Okay, so I had too much paint the first time. This one kind of worked. So we're just going to kind of try to work around that. So I'm going to do some blue. And then we'll add other colors. So. So you just have to put very little paint in it. And you get that splatter effect. Because it's mostly air. So I kind of like it. And if you want more blue in a certain spot, you can just, you know, do it again over top of it. It does take a little extra effort because you have to 
get the right amount. But, here you go, Bridget. I have figured out a way to get that spatter look that you want. Kind of like when we were kids and we would do our walls. Um, and you would take a paintbrush and dip it in paint and then you would just sling it on the wall. Kind of that splatter effect. So I'm going to do some blue and I'm sorry I can't fast forward this. You'll just have to see each little part. But I'm going to go through kind of fast and just add more blue. And then I'm going to stack other colors with it and then we're going to see. I might add some more blue. I'm just going to drip whatever comes off. Okay, I might add some more blue in a minute, but I want to kind of try it with some of the other colors that will probably show up better on the camera. So we're going to try some red. We're going to do it basically the exact same way I just did with the blue. This would be really cool to do it on a black background with the glow or the fluorescent paint. I think that would be really cool actually. And it probably would work even better with like a smaller syringe. Like this is a 12 milliliter, a millimeter syringe. So maybe like a three, excuse me, a three or maybe even a one would be less tough. And if you get the ones with the rubber tips, um, it'll be easier to push up and down the plunger. This one doesn't have rubber, it's just plastic because I can't use the rubber with my dogs. Okay, right, so I'm going to set the red to the side, but I'll definitely go back and add more red. But I want to add some yellow. And again, these colors are mixed the same way I always mix my paints. The, uh, well, normally it's one part paint, one part flow trial, but with the Laverly paints, they're a little thicker. So it's one part paint to two parts Floetrol. The yellow is not working as well and I don't know if it's the paint mixture or if it's the syringe. I'm going to clean this syringe a little bit and make sure there's nothing stopping. I'm just going to take my weeder and make sure that there's nothing stopping the hole. Okay, there we go. So there must have been something in the way. So yeah, this is interesting. It takes a little bit more effort, but it's doing the splatter effect. It's just, it takes time. <laughs> 
and effort. <laughs> but, so there you go, Bridget. If that's the effect you're looking for, this should do it for you. I would maybe do it on a coat of dry paint, just because I noticed that they're sinking into the white a little bit. And so that's sitting on, like some of it's sitting on top, but some of it's sinking in. So. Okay, I want to add some more red. I'm just having fun with it, you guys. Hopefully this video is not too long, but it is kind of, it does take a little bit because you have to, each individual color, and you have to make sure you don't get too much on your syringe. And I'm having to watch the space around me because I have some paintings behind me. <laughs> and I'm having to make sure that I don't get stuff on them. Luckily, they're covered up with my uh, wax paper, but still. Okay, so yeah. So that would give you the splatter effect if you like it. I'm going to kind of pick it up without trying to drip the paint and see if you guys can see it. Not really. But yeah. So there's a splatter effect. I may play with it some more or we may come back and do something else with it. But that definitely works if that's what you're looking for, Bridget. It totally, totally is cool. So, hope you guys enjoyed.